We're giving away hundreds of dollars of Revzilla gift cards. Stay to the end of the video to figure out how to enter and win. All right, so slow. I think we've done this one already. Oh, nice braking. That's right, he's a wanker. Jesus. All right, so this situation, once again, it's a blind curve. We're gonna go through these quick blind curve. We have, it says slow, so we should probably take that in consideration, but you can't see past this, so we should be going at a speed that allows us to navigate any potential threats around this corner within what we have here. Okay, when we're moving, it's gonna increase, it's gonna increase, it's gonna increase. Uh, why did it say slow? I don't know, but this looks like a sign right there. And then maybe this is another signage and that's going to indicate that, you know, people want to turn off and go that way and you can turn off and go that way. So if I see that, guess what? That's an intersection. I should be in orange stage anyways. So I'm prepped and ready for a progressive brake pressure. Remember, we're not trying to stop as uh, in, on a dime. We're just trying to slow ourselves enough to where we can start making decisions. Time kind of slows down when you're in an emergency. Well, let's give ourselves a little bit more time by decelerating okay so that's what i would do in that situation he does a pretty good job here as soon as he as soon as he sees this that's that uncommon thing in a common situation and it's the side of the vehicle so we have to slow down enough before there okay we have to at least to see what they're doing and if they stay right there because they're they're trying to open up the view because they can't see around this hedge either so what they're doing is they're sticking out which is still stupid if they stay right there we can easily navigate around them but if they don't stay there we need to slow down enough to now make a different choice we can't just from right here say you know what, i'm gonna go around them because they're not all the way in you don't know that yet and that's exactly it so he's gonna he's gonna smash that he's gonna smack grab that's my grab his uh brakes okay so since he grabbed it really hard it went from like zero to like let's say 70 percent brake pressure i'm just throwing numbers out there so zero to 70 the tire was going acceleration all of a sudden it's got to do 70 percent brake pressure it's going to skip it's going to skid it's going to it's it's not going to grab as much as it as it should so that's why you do progressive brake pressure because then it gives it okay i'm going to have a little nibble of the road okay i'll have another nibble i'll have another nibble I'll have another nibble we're at 60 percent now i'm getting full and i stop at 100 so give it little nibbles, give it little baby nibbles. So do 10%, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 100, 90, 100 if you want. If you want to do 90. Uh, but at least give it something. Okay, give it an appetizer. That's what the whole Joshua is, is that we lost a little traction, but still gained some because we weren't doing it too crazy. But right here, this is all we have. So if we were still, if we were over here, we would have collided. So if you slow down enough, it's going to buy you time to have an option of doing something else. If your original plan was to, as soon as you saw him, you're going to go around because he's only sticking out. Let's see how that would work. Let's see how that would work. Let's see. So right here, it's like, oh, my original plan, I see him come out. I'm just going to accelerate and go around. All right, let's see how that would work because you're assuming at this point. It didn't, it wouldn't have worked. I'm not saying that you know every situation is going to be like this what i'm saying is if you decelerate you can now make a choice to do that or not you made it if you if you just try to go when first you see it and you're like hey i'm just gonna make that choice boom call it a day ah uh, you didn't really think about it and that's where a lot of people get in trouble is that they don't really think about it if you slow down you could buy yourself the option to still do it or you bought yourself the option to go left i want to give myself these options by slowing it down i don't want to assume my only option is this one and it's going to work because this one wouldn't have worked. As much as this person didn't have that funda good fundamental skill of progressive brake pressure, still did enough to buy them a new option to safely get out of that situation. So after this ride, if I was this rider and I saw this, and, or I, I obviously witnessed it, but I looked at the footage again, I'd be like, I need to practice my progressive brake pressure. Oh, uh, intersection, red light, red light, red light, red light, red light. Got it, I got it. Oh, this is Ratchet. This is a crew member. His mother passed away recently and he was his friends took him out for a ride and he wasn't thinking. And that's what that's what happened here. So that that does play into, you know, how you're riding. You know, if your mind is somewhere else, you're not thinking about what's happening here. Okay, if your mind's on something else, stay home, sit on a couch to where you're not in a physical or even mental hazard in that point. Okay? If you're in a bad spot, Take a break or realize you need to think about this stuff because this stuff is immediate. The other stuff already happened. Think about it later. Hey, progressive brake pressure. You didn't hear any tires skid. 
You didn't hear ABS kick in. You didn't hear anything like that. So we're riding. And then the moment he starts applying the brake pressure, imagine if that's what you had to do, but look where he ended up. So that's his total stopping distance. So that means you should brake sooner. So how do you brake sooner? It's exactly what happened here. Wasn't paying attention. Is it, his, his head was somewhere else. Um, so you need to stay in it because even if you have amazing fundamental skills, imagine if there was a car coming because it's a green light, right? Imagine if there's a car coming this way and he stopped in their lane, boom, impacted. Okay. So far, only cars were going this way, but the cars, this is how it works. So he ends up like right here, this car in the intersection could have hit him as good as your fundamental skills are. If you're not paying attention, you won't be able to use them in time. Thankfully, it was a left turn arrow probably for these car drivers, because if it wasn't, the cars over there possibly would have hit him or he would have T-boned them. So watch this real quick. The moment he starts applying the brakes and where he ends up. We already passed. I think I heard ABS, but we already passed this lane, this lane, and we're maybe like right here. So we just crossed two lanes of traffic. Thankfully, they were not going. And thankfully, there's not another car still going. So this right here was a close call that we should learn from. And I want to say thank you to Ratchet for first sending this in. I did this video a while back. Uh, thank you for sending it in. Like I said, his mind was on his recently passed mother. She recently passed. I think it was from COVID. Got it. <laughs> I'm just gonna like They're talking on a Bluetooth system. You know which kind I, that I like. It's down in the description. Say it was a, a brake failure. Now it's at the end of the ride. He was, that was him going home, and his buddy, his buddy was taking off. He was going home. That was at the very end of the ride. What are the statistics? It's like you, you get in an accident within like three miles of your house. Like most accidents are within three miles of your residence. It's because you're not thinking about it. You've been here so many times. You get complacent. If you've been riding around without gear, well, you're not a very smart rider. You click the link in the description to enter to win hundreds of dollars in RevZilla gift cards. We're doing this every single month. So if you don't win right now, you can possibly win next month. But if you sign up as a tier one to tier four, you get my ebook for free too. Check it out. Link is in the description. Link is in the description. Click, click, click. Link in description.